hi everyone welcome back to my channel I'm going to be making some soup tonight and I'm using things that I already have mostly in my cupboard I have a couple of things that I got from the store a couple of days ago that I want to use so let me show you the ingredients it will be a lentil soup however this is going to be a lot different than the other lentil soup recipe I have on my channel so for this I've already pre-cooked my lentils um, and I also pre-cooked some wild rice down here I'm gonna be using a whole onion as well as some mushroom I'm using white button mushroom but you can use whatever you have cremini portobello etc um, and then I'm going to be using some beef broth and I don't have enough so I'll probably add a little bit of water to this as well. And then I've got some uh, garlic cloves as well as a bunch of thyme that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to finish it with some chopped spinach and some lemon. So first I'm going to start by cleaning up my mushroom. Um, I'm going to be slicing these. Um, and I'm just gonna set them aside. I've also started my beef broth in a separate pan to warm it up. And so that's, you know, that's working. It was a big block of ice because I had it in the freezer. So I'm basically slicing them across and then across again, meaning cut them in half, turn it, and then cut them into slices and I know this looks like a lot but it will turn into nothing and then I'm going to chop up my onion so I'm gonna cut it in half and then um, I do want this chopped so I'm just gonna slice it and then dice it and this will be kind of a medium dice. And I will be starting with my onion in the pot. I'm going to heat up a little bit of olive oil and then add the onion. So to my pot, I've added some olive oil. I added my onion as well as a crack of black pepper a good pinch of salt and my thyme and I'm just going to let this saute until it gets a bit translucent. Um, I may be covering this part of the way as well but I do want this to start breaking down and just get really fragrant. Okay, so now that this has had a few minutes I went ahead and added my garlic and I'm also going to add the mushroom. And this is going to be cooking for a little while. Um, I do want to add some salt again because that will help draw the moisture from the mushroom. And then I'm going to cook this uncovered until the mushroom gets brown. Now, the mushroom is cooking down. It's not where I want it to be yet, but I went ahead and I added a bay leaf as well. Um, I, I do like adding bay leaf to soups, so, you know, I'm just going to kind of stir that in and kind of let the flavor go through that. Um, but this is going to need a little bit more to start browning a little bit. So I'm not going to constantly stir. I, I do like it when mushrooms get ground. So um, I leave it alone and then every so often just kind of check on it and, and turn it from underneath. And when I mean underneath, like uh, scrape the bottom of the pan. So that's what you want to do. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for. If it starts sticking to the bottom, it's, it's fine um, because I've decided to add something else. And you can see that the mushroom are getting browned around the edges. And this is steaming up, <laughs> which means that my pot is hot. Um, but now that I know that this is cooked down, and remember, this is practically full. So now 
that all of this has happened, I do want to add a splash of wine. I'm going to be using a white wine. Um, you don't have to put this in, but I have it around. So I'm going to put maybe a couple of tablespoons. And this will add a little bit of flavor. It will also deglaze the bottom of the pan. So with your, um, you know, spatula, go ahead and lift everything from the bottom. And then after this kind of cooks down, um, you can go ahead and add your beef broth. And to this, I will add my lentil. And I'm going to be adding some hot water as well. Just go ahead and stir this. I'm going to wait to put my rice in um, towards the end. I do want this to be a brothy soup. So it's good right now and I'm going to add some water so it'll make it, you know, a little more loose. But once I add the rice, it'll thicken up again. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this and let this come to a boil and probably simmer it for about 15 minutes or so. So now that this has come up to a bubble again, I'm going to turn off the heat and add my spinach and this is going to wilt down instantly. I also added another pinch of black pepper and I'm going to squeeze in a little bit of lemon juice as well. I roughly chopped the spinach because I didn't want really big pieces of spinach leaves um, but you can leave them whole if you'd like. And I've also gone ahead and pulled out my herbs. So the thyme, the bay leaf, everything got removed. And this looks really, really terrific. So I just poured some in a bowl, but I do want to add a couple of things on top. So I did go ahead and taste this and it's, it is very good, but I do want to add just a drizzle of olive oil as well as a bit of parsley just because I do like parsley on anything. I wanted to make a lentil soup that was a little bit on the hearty side where you have a bowl and you feel satisfied and you know, you feel just better. <laughs> um, but it did turn out really, really good. So if you'd like to try it, I will have the recipe described down below. I used homemade beef broth. And there's something about that that just gives it like this really deep flavor. If you don't have that, you can use canned beef broth or if you just really don't have that. Um, chicken broth is fine, but if you can, try and use the beef broth. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye.